Captain Invincible and the Space Shapes by Stuart J. Murphy, illustrated by Remy Simard. This is a math start. Level two. Captain Invincible. The shapes. I'm Captain Invincible, King of the Skies. With my space dog comet, I've conquered galaxies. We're fearless in our spaceship, the Hawk. But now we must return to Earth. Oh no! It's a meteor shower. Watch out! If the rocks hit us, we'll never make it home. Comet, push the first button after the square. That's the one. The cube! Pushes it. The radar beams from our directional cube will help us find a path to safety. Good thing the six square faces of the cube were working properly. It takes more than space rocks to stop Captain Invincible. Hey, I did all the work, says the dog. That's odd. The stars are getting fuzzy. It's almost as though we were floating into a cloud of poison gas. Must not black out. Oh, he's trying to reach. Must try the cone. We're going to be okay, Comet. The cone will pull the gas in through its base shaped like a circle and send out clean air through its tip. Oh, good as new. Now we can just relax and... What's the matter, Comet? Woof, 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 woof. Oh, that's just a flying saucer. A flying saucer! Ah! <laughs> Only one chance, the pyramid. The square base holds it steady while the four triangle shaped faces come together and shoot a sonic beam that will send that alien ship back where it belongs. The other side of the universe. We're almost back to Earth now, Comet. We'll be fine as long as we don't run into a... Uh, galactic beast. Oh, no. Don't worry, Comet. First, we'll send out the cylinder. The circle-shaped base will open up to release. A flying sphere. That took care of the beast. Woof, woof. Finally, there's the landing pad. So we hit the rectangular prism button to release the landing gear. And the gear's out. We're almost there. Almost. Hey! Crash. This looks like his bedroom. Ah, he's been pretending. Look at the kitty. This looks like the galactic monster. Uh. Captain Invincible! <laughs> What's going on? asked Dad. You woke everyone up. Hey, said Brad. Look at your spaceship. It's all broken. Go to bed, Sam, Mom said, yawning. You can clean up this mess tomorrow. He was pretending his imagination. 
He's going crazy tomorrow. He's looking at his boat, his ship. Tomorrow I'll be Captain Stupendous, King of the Seas. Oh boy. He likes to use his imagination. Wow, what a great book. I liked all of the shapes that we learned. Let's see, let's recap. Let's look at the panel. There we go. Square, cube, rectangle, pyramid, circle, circle, cylinder, cone. We learned a lot. Sit tight, because here's another. The Planets by Gail Gibbons, Revised Edition On a clear night, when stars shine brightly, you might see what looks like another star, but each night it changes position in the star patterns. It is a planet. The word planet comes from the Greek word meaning wanderer. In very early times, people knew of six planets. They were Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. These people named the planets after Greek and Roman goddesses and gods. Later within the last 200 years, three more were discovered. They were Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Planet Earth is where we live. It is one of the nine planets that circle the sun. Together they make up the main part of the solar system. The word solar means connected to the sun. The solar system includes the sun and everything circling around it. The nine planets circle around the sun in paths called orbits. The time it takes for a planet to travel around the sun is its year. Each planet's year is different. While a planet is orbiting around the sun, it is moving another way too. It spins or rotates. The time it takes for a planet to rotate is its day. Each planet's day is different. While a planet is rotating, part of it faces the sun. It is daytime there. On the other side, it is nighttime. People can look up on a clear night and might see Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. A planet looks like a steady point of light. A star twinkles. A telescope is needed to see Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. They are very far away from the planet Earth. A telescope enlarges the image. On the nine planets, Mercury is the planet closest to the Sun. It is about 36 million miles away from the Sun. During the day, it is extremely hot. During the night, it is bitter cold because Mercury doesn't have any atmosphere to keep its heat from escaping. An atmosphere is a layer of air Mercury is the second smallest planet of the nine planets and is made up of rock and metal. One year on Mercury is only 88 Earth days. That's how long it takes for Mercury to orbit the Sun. Mercury rotates very slowly, so its days are very long. A day on Mercury is 59 Earth days. Venus is the second planet from the Sun. It is usually the brightest object in our sky, other than our sun and moon. At sunrise and sunset, it looks like a big bright star. It is bright because Venus has a cloud cover that reflects the sunlight. These clouds are made up of gases. Venus is about 67 million miles away from the sun. It is hot there. Venus is almost the same size as planet Earth. 
One year on Venus is about 225 Earth days. A day on Venus is about 243 Earth days long because Venus rotates very slowly. On Venus, a day is longer than a year, and a year is shorter than a day. Earth is the third planet from the sun. It is the only planet known to have just the right environment for plants, animals, and people to live in. Earth is 93 million miles from the sun. Planet Earth has just enough gravity to hold its atmosphere around it. Earth has a moon. The moon causes the tides to change, making them rise and fall. Earth orbits the sun in about 365 days to make an Earth year. It rotates every 24 hours to make an Earth day. A moon orbits a planet. It has no light of its own. It reflects sunlight. Gravity pulls things toward Earth. Astronomers believe that Mars looks red because iron on its surface has been rusted by the planet's thin atmosphere. It is very cold and is a little more than half the size of planet Earth. Mars has two small moons. One year on Mars is about two Earth years. A day on Mars is about as long as a day on Earth. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun. It is about 484 million miles away. It is huge. It is bigger than all the other planets put together and has rings. Jupiter is mostly made up of gases some of the gases form a giant red circle called the Great Red Spot. Rings are made up of rock, bits of ice and dust. At least 63 moons orbit around planet Jupiter. One moon, Ganymede, is the biggest moon in the solar system. It is bigger than planet Mercury. Another moon called Io has many active volcanoes. One Jupiter year is almost 12 Earth years. It has short days, just under 10 Earth hours long. Saturn is the sixth farthest planet from the Sun, about 887 million miles away. It is the second largest planet. Saturn's hundreds of rings make it look different from the other planets. The rings are made up of ice. Some pieces are as big as houses. On Saturn, it is extremely cold. Saturn has at least 46 moons. Titan, its largest moon, is the only moon in the solar system with an atmosphere and clouds. It takes almost 30 Earth years for Saturn to orbit the Sun. It rotates in about 11 Earth hours. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. It is about 1.8 billion miles away. It is so far away that from its surface the Sun would look tiny. Uranus has ten rings. Uranus is the third biggest planet, about one-third the size of planet Jupiter. At least 27 moons orbit around it. Planets farther from the Sun have longer orbits. They take more time to travel around the Sun. For Uranus to make one orbit takes about 84 Earth years. Uranus rotates in about 17 Earth hours. Neptune is the eighth farthest planet from the Sun. It is about 2.8 billion miles away. Neptune appears to be blue because of a gas in its atmosphere. It is almost the same size as Uranus. One of Neptune's 13 moons, Triton, is about the same size as planet Earth's moon. Spacecraft Voyager 2 visited Neptune in 1989. One Neptune year is 164 Earth years. It rotates in about 16 Earth hours. Pluto usually is the ninth and farthest planet from the Sun. 
Sometimes its orbit carries it closer to the Sun than Neptune. At its farthest, Pluto is about 3.6 billion miles from the Sun. It was discovered in 1930. Pluto is the coldest and smallest planet. It is smaller than the Earth's moon. It has one moon called Charon. One year on Pluto is about 248 Earth years long. A day on Pluto is about six Earth days long. Here on planet Earth, astronomers search the skies through telescopes. Spacecraft are sent into the solar system and beyond in search of new discoveries. An astronomer is someone who studies the stars and planets. We are always learning about the planets, the stars, and what lies beyond. It is fun to search the night skies for planets and stars from our planet Earth. Here is more about our nine planets. The end. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for further stories. What's up next? Clouds drift, dogs run, sizzle, sizzle, summer sun.